Hey guys, welcome back. Tonight I need to feed all of my spiders. The tarantulas, the jumping spiders, my velvet spider, all the slings. They have to be fed tonight. If it doesn't get to them tonight, I will not sleep because, not that they've been without food or anything, but I just like getting it done on a certain night of the week, on certain nights of the week. Um, some of my jumping spiders who are on egg sacs already have crickets in their enclosures and they don't mind them being in their closures, enclosures. They'll come out and get them. I dropped those in last night. But for those who don't, um, we'll drop one in and hopefully we'll get to see some eat. It looks like my regal who's on her egg sack she's popped out of her enclosure right now so hopefully i can get a feeding clip of her um so yeah let's get started so your girl can go to sleep because christmas has worn me out and i am exhausted so let's get started okay so i've shown you all how to make things easier with feeding slings and not making a huge mess out of the fruit flies um, and it looks like I maybe got one out and they're all in the bottle so we're gonna go ahead and feed them and get that over with all right here are the regals that are in my cups um, we need to clean out the little carcasses of fruit flies where they've already eaten but I'll do that later this week um, the goal tonight is just to get everybody fed and watered and get to bed <laughs> so I'll speed through this and catch you on the tarantulas So, out of all of the slings that I've put in the deli cups, I've had some losses. I think I've lost eight. I did have 35. But the other ones seem to be doing pretty good. Um, they're chunking up. They're definitely eating. I do make sure I water them every day, especially with the heat um, being on in the house because it has been a little bit cooler. And I don't want them to dry out. So, now we have all of my odiosa slings in here and i don't know let's see if we can get it to focus there's a lot of these guys i'll try to open it and show you some these have done pretty well um i've been meaning to move some of the larger ones over into cups but with christmas i've just not the past couple of days have been Full of family activities and wrapping and last minute to do things but um these guys are doing pretty well and I haven't had a lot of losses out of these um, need to clean some of the fruit flies out but like I said we'll get to that later this week and I will definitely be putting some of these guys into deli cups because they are getting like that guy right there. <laughs> They're getting bigger. I'm basically just giving them what's left out of all of these. Okay, this is for 
the G Polka. I know that she wants a Cricut. Let's see if we can get it. There she goes. This is our girl, Sydney. We know that she's gonna wanna take a stroll, but I'm hoping that, well, she's in pre malt so chances of her eating are slim. But I will try. I'm not going to leave that in with her because, well, there's no point to leave it in because she's not going to eat it anytime soon. But she's pretty to look at. I love her. She's my favorite. I got to be quick. She'll try to come walk. I brought down my green bottle blue. Um, she's the one that molded earlier this week. And she's definitely starting to web it up. But um, she has water. She's not quite ready to take any food just yet. Judging by her fangs. So... We will wait, but she's so pretty. Her legs are so blue. Look at the webbing on the bones. I learned a very important lesson from Tarantula Cat about um, green bottle blues and bones, which I love bones for all enclosures because I just think they make them more interesting but with a green bottle blue it just looks so cool and badass the way that they web up so much and with the bones it makes it look super spooky so I just love that and I had to mention it because I definitely learned that little lesson from her Next, we have our Purple Bloom. I think the abdomen looks pretty plump, but because it's such a voracious little e eater, I feel like I'll run it um, a really small cricket. And I need to water her as well. Today I say her, last time I said him. We have no idea. Right now it's kind of um, gender neutral. Don't kick here. Don't kick here. I'm giving you some water. Oh. <coughs> Don't attack the water. Let's see. Attacking water. Let's see if I can get it a little cricket really quick. I definitely need another tripod. So just to make it, just to make it feel like it's done something, we're gonna It's got a plump little booty. It really didn't need anything huge. It didn't need anything at all, in my opinion. But 
I don't think a pinhead will hurt it. So cute. Look at that bum. So it probably won't eat anymore for a while because I don't wanna like power feed. This is my Ace Amani. Armani is her name. And she is also a confirmed female. And she molted not long ago. She could stand to eat a good size cricket. Um, and I'm assuming shortly she'll start bur burrowing again since I have rehoused her into this enclosure. Um, she has a ton of substrate that she can burrow in. But she hasn't done so yet. She's webbed a lot. I've never seen her do that. She's always been a dweller, but we're gonna give her a big cricket because she's a big girl. She's getting big anyway. Nice. That was a good one. Nice little crunch. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but. It must be yummy. Look at how blue she is. I love how blue she is. That dance though. <laughs> okay, we gotta hurry things up. But girl, you are cute and she is happy. And this is Mystery Tarantula. Um, this is the one that we can't seem to get everyone to agree on what species she is. Um, some seem to think that she's a Brachypelma. Some seem to think that she is a Aphonopelma. I don't really care. Pretty either way. But majority have all said um, the Brachypelma, the um, golden red rump, I think is what it said, what they were all saying. I don't know. Everyone said her um, enclosure was on point, that I had done everything right that needed to be done for her or him, whichever. Um, it does need a name, so we need a name that fits boy or girl, but I love that her water dish says trimmed spider hair. Okay, let's drop a cricket in and see. See, <laughs> Sally. Silly spider. Oh, watch she spin? She's dancing because she's happy. It's happy? Mm-hmm. Ow! She liked that cricket. Uh-huh. I love cricket. Mm-hmm. I got it. I want to be No, no, no. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about any kid noise. She is fired up with all her toys and everything else. And her big sissy has friend, a friend over, so they're busy. 
um anyway i'm going to knock out these um adult jumping spiders and wrap it up yeah but i'll try to get as many feeding clips as i can if they'll take it if not we're gonna speed through This is a mama who's laying an egg sac or preparing to lay. Oh no, she's laid a huge egg sac. Um, I'm gonna throw a cricket in and mist her and um, let her do her thing because we're not gonna aggravate. in her cute little tarantula crib enclosure. This one is the um, tarantula cat version, obviously, because we support her. This is an OG girl. She's an older girl. I wonder if she'll... Oh, oh, oh. She might take this on camera, actually. <clears throat> Let me try. Let me try. <laughs> Get it, Mama. And she's obviously gravid. Ooh. Okay. We'll leave it there. her. And this little girl looks like she just came out of a Molt not long ago, but it definitely won't hurt to go ahead and put a cricket in because she literally molted as soon as I put her on in this enclosure. We'll put a little one and I squished its head too. Alrighty, let's see if I can get her to take it. Okay, we'll leave it there. This is our other idiosis. She is um, gravid, but hasn't laid an egg sac yet. She laid a phantom egg sac last time. But never 
got a real one off of her. No, I take it back. She laid a sack. The slings that are in the cup are hers. But then after that is what I mean is when she laid her phantom sack. Like she had went to lay another one. But um, nothing ended up coming from it. Ooh, she wants that. She had her fangs out. Look at that face. can't tell if she bit it. Oh, she's gonna. And for the final big guy, it is the daddy of all of my regal slings. He is a huge boy. But he's getting to that point where he doesn't always love to eat because he's becoming an old man who just wants to find ladies. Let's see if I can get him to take one. I'll show him, but he'll never take it because, like I said, he's becoming an old man. Did she just shut her out? Alrighty, guys. I am all done and officially ready for bed. Sorry for the craziness. I'm sure you've heard my toddler run around. She wanted tattoos and um, to play with all her new toys. So, good times, good times. We will... I'll be back later in the week to um, what is that? you can't play with those spiders here I will be later back in the week to um, separate the odiosa slings into their own deli cups individually so that should be interesting because that's going to be super tedious and time consuming. So we will definitely do that during a nap. Um, thanks for watching and I hope that you like and subscribe. It helps me out. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.